This is the first time we met face to face. During the operation, kita pun tak tahu siapa yang ada dalam kereta kita, kita tak tahu. And one of my friend retired as a lieutenant colonel, he write a book, Madness in Mogadishu. Saya, Major Haji Abdul Aziz bin Abdul Latif Musara, dah berkhidmat di dalam tentera darat selama hampir 30 tahun dan saya berkhidmat di Somalia pada tahun 1993. Novel Blood Hot Down is written berdasar kepada pengalaman pilot helikopter Mike Duran yang kena tembak tu dia yang seorang yang sekarang kalau tak silap saya yang hidup jadi apa yang ada cerita hanya daripada dia terbang helikopter, dia menembak dia apa dah, sehingga dia jatuh selepas dia jatuh dia tak tahu dia ada ketahuan lah so kita selepas dia jatuh US dah try untuk nak Extract dia orang keluar tapi fail So sehinggalah dia panggil kita le- lewat petang Ini adalah bangkai yang menjadi objektif p- pada company saya Untuk mencari juruterbang dia lah they, they are hoping kita masuk ke situ And then they ambush us everywhere, every angle Cuma sepatutnya ending filem tu Masuk lah, tak nak ending pun masuk gambar skeping dua and the caption that we are being rescued by the Malaysian and also the American light infantry in military right from US soldier semua negara-negara yang terlibat dalam UNOSOM and also negara-negara kita punya sahabat New Zealand, Australia mana they are all recognize our effort and our bravery ada one LO tu dah tulis surat kata kalau tidak kena askar Malaysia lagi ramai askar Amerika yang tak yang tak boleh jumpa keluarga. I can't thank enough the Malaysians for what they did that night. Um, and other forces from the US Army's 10th Mountain Division fighting their way to get to us and fighting by their by our side that night. So we asked the United Nations if they would help us and the United Nations, uh, a couple of countries from the United Nations showed up with armor and uh, tanks. The Malaysians came with their armored personnel carriers and the Pakistanis came with a couple of tanks and they met us all at our base and at about 11 o'clock that night, we all drove back out there together. The Malaysian armored personnel carriers, I can't, I can't compliment these guys enough for their courage. They basically kept a driver and a gunner in those vehicles and then handed the rest of it over to us and said, we'll, we'll go wherever you ask us to go. We'll do whatever you ask us to do tonight. We're here to help out. The Pakistanis in their tanks, not so much. They rolled in there, got shot at a time or two and rolled right back out of there and left the Humvees and these Malaysian APCs in the city streets. Ini adalah bos saya ataupun CEO saya semasa dalam tentera. Kami telah bersama sejak 36 tahun yang lalu dan dia telah memberi lima orang anak kepada saya. Kami telah berada di sini sejak empat tahun yang lalu. Ini adalah gambar dekat di mana kenderaan yang dipandu oleh arwah Mak Aznan yang terkorban semasa operasi menyelamat pasukan Amerika. On this memorial service, some of us will tengok dengan mata kepala sendiri bagaimana that one American sergeant tarik private Rizal keluar daripada kereta dia and then that sergeant kena tembak, meninggal. In war, dalam keadaan situasi macam itu, kita tak tak ambil kisah the, the difference. So, kita hanya penting kepada Persamaan, apa yang kita boleh bersama.